After giving sex advice and asserting that he has never experienced a dry spell in the bedroom, Travis Kelsey may have drawn criticism, but Taylor Swift took no issue with his remarks. The 35-year-old NFL player, who has been dating the 34-year-old pop sensation since last summer, shared some X-rated advice with his 36-year-old brother Jason Kelsey on their New Heights podcast. In order to spice up his marriage, Travis advised a male listener in his 50s to role-play one night and visit the novelty store Spencer's to get some F asterisk 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 ING sex stuff. Taylor's devoted followers were incensed by the remarks and called the tight and disrespectful. Those close to the bad blood singer, however, said Travis' remarks were not meant to be creepy. Thus, she was unmoved. Taylor has no issue with it, an insider exclusively stated. Travis is not viewed negatively by anyone close to Taylor. They are completely supportive. He wasn't being creepy when he talked about his sexual life. He was being honest. Travis and Taylor have a healthy relationship, they continued. He's wise enough not to make a mistake and say or do something foolish to ruin that. His remarks were appropriate. The listener, who admitted to going through a spell with his wife, who has no interest in sex whatsoever, received good advice from Travis and his sibling, a retired Philadelphia Eagle. Travis informed the caller, I will personally mention that I have no idea what that's like, before advising him to try and be a little romantic by getting some candles and rose petals. Set the mood a little bit more, he added. Perhaps you simply need to fan that flame a bit more. Start that process and take her to a classy restaurant. All of these are things I would attempt to do. Women, they're weird, he added. Their desire for sex is not constant. They don't function on the same wavelength as us, and I'm not sure why. Being sought after is appealing to women. According to a different source, the athlete's remarks demonstrate his capacity for romanticism and his commitment to making Taylor happy. Travis' remarks demonstrate his genuine romantic nature and his willingness to go above and beyond to maintain the romance with Taylor, they stated. It also demonstrates that he is a caring boyfriend who will stop at nothing to ensure Taylor's happiness and fulfillment. Travis also suggested, that's difficult. However, the best course of action is to avoid cheating. To get better outcomes in the bedroom, Jason tried a different strategy, proposing that the man play more of a long game. In addition, he proposed that acts of service and a tighter pair of trousers may be used to create the appropriate atmosphere. He remarked, I don't know what you've been blessed with, but sometimes they just want to see the goods. Travis' remarks did not impress Taylor's supporters, who called the Kansas City Chiefs player disrespectful. This is really rude and repulsive. He needs to stop talking, someone on X said. Another person remarked, This was the last thing I needed to hear today. A third person joked, Everything I know about it tells is against my own will. While a fourth wrote, I'm getting the ick for her. Travis' actions have already raised concerns among the devoted Swifties who support his girlfriend. His outburst at 65-year-old Chiefs coach Andy Reid at the February Super Bowl, which they won, stunned many. Those close to the bad blood singer were not blind to the concerning situation. According to a source of the time, Taylor's friends were surprised and a little concerned by Travis yelling at Coach Reid like that because they didn't even know he had a side to him like that. According to Taylor's buddies, this was his first warning sign, and even Taylor appeared somewhat taken aback. She has never lost her temper like that, and she is a professional. The Chiefs' tragic celebratory parade the next day raised yet another red flag when a shooter opened fire, leaving one person dead and 21 others, including nine children injured. Travis was inebriated when he ascended the stage in front of a million adoring Chiefs fans at the finale and he could hardly stand up or talk before the shooting broke out. Before going public during the Chiefs game against the Chicago Bears on September 24th, Travis and Taylor began dating last summer. Travis hasn't held back when discussing their affair in public. He recalls falling in love with the singer back in June while listening to the Bus Sin with the Boys podcast. I thought, I could probably set you up with everything, he recalled, referring to the first game she attended versus the Bears. She simply entered through the front door. Going down or speaking with security was not an option. I want to be around family and friends and experience this with everybody, she said simply. She received a lot of points for that, he added. Damn, I thought she's insane. She wants to support me and participate in it. With that, she truly captured my heart. Her sincerity around friends and family 
is what made me fall deeply in love with her. For someone who receives that much attention, things can get hectic, but she just keeps it cool. He recently bragged about his romance with grotesquerie co-star Nisi Nashbetz. He remarked, You know it's real, and you know that Tay and I are completely happy.